Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Uh, let's just press around. Go I back. Guess. Not there. Give you yeah. Um, that doesn't change just that I pressing saw there, Max. I guess. How do you know you saw Max? Did he have three things, perhaps? So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night? Of course that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring at the entrance of the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. Okay, and then Okay, he showed up after here. I'd been waiting about five minutes in the cold. About what time would you say these events took place? You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know that practice finished promptly at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. You said 10 more minutes. I'm sure you can do that. Now what time was it? Adventure time. <laughs> Indeed, what time was it? Adventure, Adventure time. time. What time was it? Adventure time. Ow, okay, sorry. I was just going along with them. Why are you saying it was adventure time? It was 1010. What are you talking about? It's a, it's a show on Cartoon Network. What? A show? Anyway. Is it good? It is pretty good. That sounds about right. I'm going to watch it when I go home. It better be good. It sounds about right because that's the time that I saw Max on the scene. Oh. Okay. Go to Should the top. I... Okay, go back. What? Uh, so, so, go to, go to the um evidence. Uh, so, it was 1010. When did he die? 10 he 15. died at 10 15. Okay. Okay, so that matches up. Does anything else have a time? I don't um, think it does. Photo documents, that's a week ago. I don't think so. Let's look at the picture. Which picture? Ah, uh, the poster, sorry. Oh. Uh, Three famous symbols silk. It's white hat. roses. White silk roses. Hat. And what's the third Cloak. thing? It's a stupid cloak. cloak. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, it's this ugly cloak. All right, so let's just press more, I guess. Five minutes, said good evening. Yeah, you talked to him? Really? So you testify that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You got something to add, you little bitch? Let me guess. That's not it, Trillo. You say good evening at night, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Trillo. Ow, stop. Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Finally, someone says it. Like, dude, you're like, in court. Like, it's been about law. two hours, but stop. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performances. You should know better. Oh, a method actor. Okay, Daniel Day-Lewis, there's got, there got to be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Yeah, something's wrong. Um, um, his evening greeting. Yeah, wait, what's Ben said? Oh. Excuse you. There's a is, bunch of, like, goof answers in here. Isn't that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ow, that hurt. That one hurt. Oh, did it? Sorry. Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max, but how do I go about proving that with the evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world. But I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Maybe it's the... It's the bottle, I guess, right? Wait, what? I said good evening, because he's saying we got to show oh, that they didn't get along. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... Um, you said good evening, but you fucking fought. There we go. Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? Who fun? A fight over Regina, to be exact. Oh, shit. It wasn't... It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. Ah! Oh, I got clonked over the head. That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? W what? Is that an admission of assault and battery? Ouch! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. 
The truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There is absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on stand. There is no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Whoa! Objection! Are you saying this witness is lying? That he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I, I, I didn't tell a single lie. Honestly, I just... That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He didn't... He saw somebody, and it um, wasn't the defendant, so he saw a different person. person. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because the only way he knows his defendant is because of stupid clothes. It is my belief that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? He was wearing the defendant's clothes. Only the defendant can wear them. The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. V what? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trilla made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Ah! Uh, what in the world? You! Would the defense kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening oh, then? Okay. Uh, probably Ringmaster. Because um, he's the only one we know for sure was out that night. I, I mean... Or that or Regina. Well, I don't think it would have just been like... Uh... Go, go, go back. I don't think Regina actually like, Hide it. came out though. Who did Trillo see? So he only saw the ringmaster? Yeah. I think the ringmaster came out like dressed up as Max for some okay, reason. Okay, alright. Um, probably. Considering the ill temper... Is this right? I don't know. Just go for it. Oh. I mean... Oh, the ill temper of this witness, there's only one person he would greet. Oh, I guess maybe it is Regina. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. No, Your Honor, it is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, he was going to engage. Oh, yeah, I suppose you got a point there. I suppose I would have lost HP. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? Mm-hmm. You are correct. It was indeed that fuck. Oh, is he a fuck? Wait, was it him who had... We had the joke that he didn't like the ringmaster for some reason? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was like a while ago. Am I like made fun of him? <laughs> the person you saw that evening was the victim. The ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why you greeted him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Gulp! How does a puppet swallow? Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Ah! That's not answering the question. Answer, Trillo. That's dodging the question. Order, order. How do you respond to this? Imagine if I exploded every time somebody asked me a tough question. You'd be dead, pal. Yeah. That would be horrible, and I would go to your funeral <laughs> and be very sad. I would, too. I would... Wait a second! Hey, man, if you died, we'd all be there for you, man. Shut up! Well, at first I thought it was the old man. But, but, once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. What well, the f- we don't care about Maximilian Galactica, we're talking about a funeral. Yeah, we don't want to die. I think it is high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quist obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the ringmaster, one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols that, nobody, no one else, that no one else is allowed to wear. Three symbols? Alright, this is getting old. Come on, man. You gotta remember them by now. Here we go again. Charlie Brown adults, all together now. It's been two times, man. Like... Ow. Yes, yes, we know. The silk cat. Shut up! No, only me this time. The silk cat. 
Clock. Und weiter. <lacht> whip everybody. Yeah. Objection. A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. Oh shit. I'd look dope AF. I hadn't thought of that. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Didn't this exact same, like, thing... Wasn't, this is a point in the samurai thing, too. Like, they were wearing yeah. the costume, and they're like, Oh, it had to be It had to be Will Powers, Mr. Ms. Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? I just assumed. Well... Makes an ass out of I, you. Yes. And not me. No, it, it makes an ass out of you, too. No. <laughs> if that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. I can never be made an ass out of. Yes, I think we've finally won a point in this one. Ding! That is very unfortunate. Huh? Oh my god, I said that's very unfortunate. You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? But. But? But. Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Oh, no. Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself anymore. If you miss it, it's your fault. Your Honor, the prosecution will provide, beyond a shadow of a doubt, an answer to that question, and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no one else as a Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime, and the time's the best prosecutor in the world. I would be so sad if you died, man. Very well. I never really thought about it before, but geez, we could, any one of us could die at any moment. The court will take a ten minute recess. They are not even paying We're attention. Ten Usually okay. they're like kind of paying attention, but here they're just completely off topic. Man, if any During one that us. time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Any one of us. Court is now in recess. Wow. Yay! Forget about death! Yay! Yay! Sucker! To be continued. Nah. You think <laughs> we'll kill off one of the Charlie Brown adults? Oh, well, probably one you day. You think we'll do it? Do we have the balls? It would be pretty controversial with the fans, but... Yeah. S savory You have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. B.R.D. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, Savory, I just remembered. Oh my god, did he just remember? I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility! Wait, but didn't he see him walk out the door, though? I don't know. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, Savory, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double, hmm. Wow, Max. I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magician or president? You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Ay-ay-ay. Ay-ay-ay. Oh, I need a, a break. Ay caramba. Oh, boy. Ay caramba. That was recess a crazy awesome. recess. 
Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. I hope we never have a recess like that again. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. I can't believe we made it out of that recess. Very well. I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing, so we have to listen to him. I'm sorry. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? Why did she just call him a pitiful clown? Maybe on the next episode we'll figure out why she just well, called him a pitiful out. clown. I'm very curious. We're gonna know exactly why.